This is the item that we have all been waiting for. It was uh, it was teased a couple weeks ago, maybe even like a, a month or month and a half or so at this point in one of the patch note updates as concept art. And we were all wondering when it was going to come to the game. And it's finally here. The Royale Dragon Glider. It's 2,000 V-Bucks, bro. Holy cow. Are you serious? I mean, this thing's really, really cool. I'm not going to lie. That looks amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase it just for the, the sake of having it for this video. I want to be able to show you guys what it looks like. But 2,000 V-Bucks, a.k.a. 20 bucks for a glider. That's a little bit steep, man. I feel like now is the perfect time for me to shamelessly plug my uh, my 50,000 V-Bucks giveaway. It's ending tonight, guys. So if you haven't gotten in already, it's the top link down in the description. But uh, let's uh, let's just go ahead and drop. Where do we want to go? I'll go to the farm. I'll go to the farm down here. I just want to get down and I want to pull it and see this thing. Because, I mean, it, it looks pretty sick. I just feel like, dude, 20 bucks for a glider is kind of a lot. I mean, I, I can see it for a skin. But a glider, I mean... We only get it for like 15 seconds. Okay, this is actually really sick though. No way. Oh, there's another dragon down next to us. You know that guy, that guy spends a ton of money on this game. It's one way to pick out the big ballers. But um, yeah, man, I don't know. It, it's like, it, it is, it, it's very cool. But unlike a skin where you get to enjoy it for the entire game and you kind of share it with your, your friendlies and your enemies and all kinds of stuff like that, this thing is just like, it's a one and done, you know what I mean? Like, I won't see it again until the next game. So, is that 20 bucks well spent? Probably not, man. That's uh, that's a little bit rough. All right. Got a guy in barn over there. I don't know what he's going to have. Ooh, we have a med kit over in the forest. I'm going to grab that and then maybe hit this. We've got shooting in the forest, though. A shotgun. I kind of want his shotgun. These guys are chasing... Each other up the hill. Stop bragging. Why would you brag? <laughs> He's sitting there bragging. Prematurely, man. Celebrated too early. That's like fumbling on the two-yard line. Got guys over by the silos. Hmm, lots of stuff going on. We got kind of... Kind of shafted on our loot here, though. Nothing up here. Man, it's a rough life for us. Saw you creeping, bro. It was a valiant effort. But I'll take these things off your hand. I wonder if anybody's hit barn yet. This is a risky move, but we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Some more shotgun shells. Got a drop. All right, I'm gonna head back over there. That should be interesting. We might get some action from the people that landed at prison and um, should hopefully be able to get some more kills. But uh, yeah, man, I don't know. Like, I, I've always been very defensive and very supportive of, of Epic. I mean, this is a free to play game that's been updated more and, and taken care of more and had new things added more than any other AAA game in the history of AAA games that I've ever seen. And they just like, they listen to the community, they bring us cool new stuff all the time, they're constantly innovating, and I, it, it seriously, it's the best gaming experience I've ever had from like a player developer standpoint. So the fact that it's free and they're doing all this stuff, like I understand paying 10, 15, maybe even 20 bucks for a character outfit. That makes sense to me. Because you get to enjoy it for the entire match. It's like this cool art thing that they put a lot of time into. And I'm not saying they didn't put a lot of time into the dragon. But I just, I feel like, I don't know, dude. I feel like it should be a little bit cheaper. Especially because it's a glider. Like, again, you only get to enjoy it for a very short amount of time rather than a whole game. So, I, I don't know, though. I mean, if people are going to pay it, then of course they're just going to keep keep doing it you know what I mean obviously as a youtuber I do it to bring you guys a cool video so you guys can check out this new thing and see if you want to get it for yourself but there are plenty of people out there who who buy these left and right so like if people are paying it then I guess it is the fair price it's just it's it's a little bit out of reach a little bit crazy 
for the average person. And uh, I just, I, I wish it could be a little bit cheaper, even if it was just 10 bucks. Like it, it, it's still expensive and it's still gonna be something cool and unique to have, but it just makes it a little bit more accessible to the entire player base rather than just the, the people who have tons of cash to blow on the game. So I don't know. That's just kind of my two cents, but it is really cool at the end of the day. I mean, ever since, oops. I was gonna say ever since the start of this drop, it's been really quiet, but now we finally found somebody. Thanks for the sniper, bro. I actually don't want your sniper. Are there two guys fighting over there? I don't think so. Pretty sure this guy built and then was running, but he's probably gonna know. Oh. I was gonna say he's probably gonna know we're coming behind him, but I guess not. All right, uh, um, blue AR I'll take, med kit I'll take, purple scar I'll take. How many minis you got? Six, I'll take those. I thought it was going to phase under our base. That wouldn't have been good. Okay. All right. All of a sudden, our loot is looking super solid, boys. We're close to the, the circle. And there's only 24 people left. But yeah, we're checking out the, uh, the brand new Rust Lord skin here. I haven't used this one yet. I really like it. He's he's pretty cool looking, really aggressive. When I first saw him, I thought it was like a Mad Max vibe. And it, I mean, obviously it is. It's like crude armor and stuff like that. But it's actually, now that I think about it, it's probably more based off of Star-Lord. Like you think about Rust Lord, Star-Lord, and um, it's like Star-Lord from, uh, from what's it called? Guardians of the Galaxy, which I think is awesome. All right. Where did this drop go? Do you guys see a balloon anywhere? There it is. Holy cow, hidden back behind the mountain. I knew we were going in somewhat the right direction. I don't really like being down here underneath everything, but we'll see what we could do. I was hoping this was gonna be more like outside the farm where we'd actually run into people, but I guess that's not the case. And we have to go exactly back to where we were, dude. Holy cow. I was on the hunt, but just the wrong hunt, I guess. Is that a base up there? That's a base, isn't it? I might flank the left side of the mountain. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get up there. Ooh, looks like somebody's already done that. Oh no, that's not a base. Oh, there's a base up on top of the house. Hopefully I'm not biting off more than I can chew here. It's not the best idea to start firing stuff off like that when you've got the height to disadvantage, but. Go ahead and get this into the mountain so nobody can shoot us down. He's dead. Not bad, there's a drop over there. We could probably go bait that a little bit. I've got a feeling a lot of people are gonna be fighting for this hill though. Kinda wanna be smart about this. Purple SMG, this thing is gonna melt a Reno, people. And we've got our RPG. We're in a good spot, dude. Get off my hill, peasant! I'm the king of this hill! All right. Eight people left. I don't know if that guy had any good loot. We really could use some of those those pot shields, those 50 shields that we were finding all over the place earlier and didn't pick up because we were keeping the minis, but that's okay. This guy's below us somewhere. Oh, there he is. Trevor, don't miss your shots! Oh my god. 
I might die here. And I'm gonna be one sad puppy. Holy cow, I missed shots there. I am not gonna lie. <laughs> He's behind that tree down there. Oh, there's two guys. Do they see each other? Hmm. These guys have snipers. That guy's creeping over there. Well placed RPG. Are you kidding me? I didn't even hear that guy building up, dude. I'm not gonna lie, I've kind of missed a few shots. I was firing all those RPGs, I honestly was not paying attention. This guy probably dipped out. Some 100 level IQ plays here, boys. Oh my. That's the guy that was shooting us earlier. Get up, get up, come on. Dude, I'm like a little bit nervous right now. We've made a couple of, of bad shots in a row. This guy have anything good? Med kit RPG. Two V one. One v one, I meant. We know he's down here somewhere. Fairly sure. Oh yeah, he's right there. GG. Let's go, boys. Woo! Eleven to kill a victory royale with our first dragon. It got a little bit scary there at the end. I'm not gonna lie. I, man, I I thought we were gonna I thought we were gonna blow it. There were a couple of plays where I started missing shots and started getting a little bit nervous. This has been my first game of the day. I hopped on, wanted to check out the dragon, wanted to get you guys a victory. And uh, luckily, I didn't choke it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you guys later. Drop a like. Make sure to check out that, uh, that giveaway before it ends tonight. And um, subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.